What's up, guys? Bid Nation here for another Critical Hits. My name is Eric. And Sam. And I'm Dustin. What the fuck are we playing? We're playing Shovel Knight, dude. If you ever wondered... Well, actually, this this game harkens back to the 8-bit days. <laughs> I shouldn't have let him throw me off, but this harkens back to, like, the 8-bit awesome that was, like, Mega yeah. Man, Super Mario <laughs> Brothers 3, so on and so forth. I mean, I, I played everything in the 8-bit days. So, in this case, when Shovel Knight came out, it was everything that you could even hope for. Anyway, here, we'll start from the beginning. Yes, you even have to, you can't just type in your name, you have to select them old school. Okay, so... Name yourself Dong Bear. No. Ah! The straight ah! Ah, 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 ah! Yes, I forgot, you gotta choose Done. Dude, okay, so bags. the idea is <laughs> you'll get it here in a minute. <laughs> Choose this profile. Yes, please, for the love of Christ, let's get on with it. Get on with it. Oh, in even like in Grand Mega Man style fashion, you've got the sprite based intro. There's nothing 3D about this. So, lands were untamed and roamed by legendary warriors. Of all heroes, none shone brighter than Shovel Knight and Shield Knight. By the way, dude, chick. That's right. Dude on the left, chick on the right. I, I got that. Okay, but their travel, but their travels together ended at the Tower of Fate when a cursed amulet wrought a terrible magic. <gasps> no sh. When Shovel Knight awoke, the tower was sealed and Shield Knight was gone. No! Can you dig it? Ah. <laughs> 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 uh. His spirit broke and a grieving Shovel Knight went into a life of solitude. But without champions, the land was seized by a vile power, the Enchantress and her Order of No Quarter. Very creative. Order of No Quarter, that is really nice, That's actually. Clever. I like that a lot. Now the tower is unsealed and devastation looms! A new adventure is about to begin. So, well, from Yacht one, Club Games, I give to cool. you Shovel Knight. Oh boy. It's shoveling time. It's oh shoveling time! Now is this uh, oh keyboard shit. and uh, and uh, controller action? Yeah, well basically you can play controller or with keyboard. And you'll probably notice that some of the movesets are straight from maybe a game called DuckTales. For those of you out there that can relate, give me a hell yeah in the comments. Seriously. Oof. Yeah, that's that's impalement right there. Can you yeah. shovel that bush? Uh, no. Ow, mother. But the good news is, is it's not one hit and kill. But if you do die, you lose some of the treasure that you have acquired thus far. Oh no! So it's sort of got a little bit of a Dark Souls mentality to it, where she will occur to if that you man. if you do die, you have to gain and you have to like grab these little floating bags of of treasure. But if you die before gaining them. You lose them uh -huh. forever. Much like Souls in Dark Souls 2. And Dark Souls. Whoa, now nice. checkpoints are kinda interesting. They you sort of got is totally reliable. Dude. They've actually got a double purpose. You can either use them, or if you destroy them by smacking them like that, you can destroy them and gain more treasure, but you cannot use the checkpoint. So it's kinda cool like that. Very interesting. So for those of you that are the skilled types. This is starting to feel like maybe like a Dark Souls. But it's got intro. so much like Mega Man influence. Do you hear that music? Oh yeah, man. Making me feel like we're playing, uh, what was that? Uh, Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. Oh geez. Even so much better than that. Dragon! Hello, dragon. We're gonna beat the ever loving he crap out of you. Bubbles. I'm sorry, what kind of dragon makes bubbles? This is a no really dragon, crappy so. dragon. Uh, dragon. Obviously a bubble or a bubble making dragon because the dragon. Ate a bunch of dong. So watch this. Mm, yeah, dong. So. Ha. No, I know. I know the <laughs> Wonderful environments here. Yeah, a lot, of, a lot like the Mega Man feel here. Yeah. Um, story seems pretty solid. The story is like simple, and that's what makes mm -hmm. it solid. There's yeah. really no need for a whole lot of backstory. You don't need to know like how long they've been doing this, and so on and so forth. You don't need to know every detail. And that's the great, and that's sort of like the great thing of like old school Whoa, eight bit. Explosions. That's for you to imagine. You know? Yes, exactly. You know, you can you can sort of make it up as you go along. It's it's using this thing called imagination. I know that some people haven't heard of it, 
But what is fuck imagine. No, no, no. Is? Fuck imagination. I had that once. It was fucking terrible. Oh, well, that's that's a shame it's for you. It's fucking terrible. Because I have sick, I have weeks. imagination, and it works out quite well. You have imagine. Get away from me. With your imagination. It is not contagious. It's okay. Are you sure? I'm I'm fairly positive. Here. You're fairly positive. Yes, I'm very sure. Alright, so, uh, so audio obviously is spectacular. It's right? solid. It is 100% solid. So that that I just grabbed there was a music sheet. You can there are collectibles that you can. Um, Whoa! Yeah. You saw that. There are collectibles that you can grab throughout the game, and some of them are a lot more difficult to grab. I promise you. This is just the first level. So can you pause it. Can you can you pause it? Yeah, of course. Why wouldn't you be able to pause it? Well, in that way, it is it's not. One of those OP games. In that way, it is not Dark Souls. No. Uh, <laughs> well, you can pause it. Yeah, I was gonna say like Dark Souls. There is no pausing. You don't get to pause. Well, this is single player, so like the the idea behind it or the reality behind it is that pausing is encouraged. Oh crap! Well, it is. Oh crap! Come on! Come on! Come on! Dude, yeah. Seriously. <laughs> you yeah, guys, you're so slime, guys. Hold no. on, viewers. <laughs> no, we'll get this. No. Uh, no. Yeah, there you go. Woot. I was gonna say we'll get it done eventually. Well, wait, get that dish thingy. I'm working on it, dude. Do you see this mound of shit that I have to shovel? It's right there. I'm, just, just, I don't want it. I don't want to hear your. I don't want to hear your stuff. You remind me of Mystery Man. Don't the shoveler. Yes, the shoveler. Awesome. <laughs> this is this is what the shoveler should have been. Honestly, in Mystery Man, this is what he should have been. He should have been Shovel Knight. So I got a checkpoint. So if I die, this is where I'll start. Very nice indeed. Very nice indeed. The mechanics, the controls are very solid. The move set very simple. You can get more skills as the game goes on. You can purchase. Eventually, we will hit a town where you can purchase stuff such as power-ups, health upgrades, so on and so forth. But in the meantime, oh, hold on a second. And that item, the 30 blue jars, is that health packs? Uh, yes. Very cool. Well, actually, the blue jars are mana packs. I, I take that back. I'm sorry. Um, so the blue, the, uh, the mana here, I'll point it out with the mouse. The items up here... When you get those, you actually use mana, a la Castlevania. Um, ho ho! Yeah. A la Castlevania to uh, to actually use special powers, like throwing uh, magic bolts of magic, and so on and so forth. Oh, uh, shovels? Yeah. Well, not just shovels, but like other objects. Like, there's certain powers, like uh, you have a, a bouncing object, which will hurt enemies if, if they get hit by it. And, oh, God. And you can also expect surprises like that, too. Mr. McSkeleton! Yep. What about the diversity of enemies here? Diversity of enemies. Um, it's actually, once again, uh, that fares right in the uh, realm of Mega Man, a la the, um, the enemies are pretty much are attuned to their setting. So, like, for example, there's one, uh, one of the Order of No Quarter, which has a... <laughs> well, <hell. laughs> I love that, too. Um... Which has a uh, is sort of like a kingly. He's a mock king, so basically a lot of the um, elements of the castle, you know, like you'll have little horses that are, that have lances and whatnot, and will charge at you. And well, I'll show you in a little bit. No, yeah, that's very nice. So like Mega Man again, each level kind of yeah, the boss. Exactly, and that's what's great about it. The, I mean, you can clearly see a, a lot of luck went into this, along with the details. Um, and also a lot of uh, tips of the hat to, you know, childhood love such as Mega Man and, and uh, ow, ah, ah, <laughs> you douche, I will beat you with my shovel, punk, 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 oh god, <laughs> 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 so we saw that happening, anyway, and you stupid, yes, I, so, as you can see, I go back to the checkpoint, now it's it, I'm pretty confident I'll beat that dragon, so, Gimme, 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 fine. Gimme, 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 this ain't working. It'll be done in a while, ladies and gentlemen, just wait. Uh, actually, I think that you have to, you have to crack it open before... Before you die. That or you can't crack it open in the first level. Yeah, how would it Yeah, uh, you can't crack it open in the first level, that wouldn't make any sense. Let's just proceed to the, it seems like you're pretty close to the boss here. Yeah, we're getting close, I can promise you that. 
Um, and as far as uh, replayability is concerned, I mean, it's kind of just a pretty straightforward Mega Man experience where it's just well, that's the same just, bosses. Well, that's the great part, is that it's, it, there is a, a lot of diversity. Dude, get off of his head. That's, that's how Ow! he got you last Mother time. Skirt. Swear to God. <laughs> got it. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> well, okay. okay, then. So, uh, there's a lot of diversity, but the great thing is, is that you don't have to go through a set path. I mean, there are set paths that you have to beat in order to open up more paths, but it's all your choice. So it's Metroid. Yeah, a, a little bit. Like, some abilities that you acquire later on are, like, absolutely crucial in order to get in certain abilities or hidden items, what have you. Uh, come here, slimies. Y'all dead? You're all dead. Okay, cool. Death! Woo! Score. Nice. And then you want to look for little mounds of dirt like that, and little rocks clinging to the sides of walls to try and knock them off. Oh, there's a hidden thing over here. I know this. My, gam my gamer instinct is tingling. Ah, I am correct. Sounds like you should get that check. Yeah! Score! It has never let me down, thus it does not need to be removed. It is not a Duma! All right. It is, though. Well, then, in that case, maybe it might be a good idea, I guess. Um, but here we are. Uh, pretty much, this is the last checkpoint before... The boss fight! Boss fight! Do it! What's up, Black Knight? Not racist. Is it a flesh wound? He's about to get a few. Turn back, Shovel Knight. There's nothing here for you anymore. Stand aside, Black Knight. I have no quarrel with you. I must return to the Tower of Fate! Your time away has dulled your senses, can't you see? This entire valley has been conquered by the Enchantress. And here, and her invincible knights of the Order of No Quarter stand between you and the tower. But none of that matters, because anyone after the Enchantress has to go through me. Steal thy shovel! Wow. <laughs> Bring it, Birch! Shovel on shovel combat! Bring it, now, aha! Woo! Bing. Oh, Come snap. Get it. Oh, snap. Yeah, that's what you get for taunting. Oh, snap. No. No. And you can he deflect those back with your shovel. Talk shit, he get hit, brah. Pink things at Duel. Uh, Whoa. Uh, Whoa. Watch out now. Whoa. Uh, uh, Projectile uh, and a freaking diving on. attack. Come on. He's taunting Come you. Get out. I think he's he's both coming and ha! getting it. Ho, ho. Oh, 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 oh. Eric, don't say Oh, it. stopped you and dead in your tracks. Ow. Watch out, bro. so dead. No, no I'm he's not. Got him. He's got I've him. got Unless this. Unless he just gets hit three times rapid fire. Jingle. Boom! Epic kill. Technicolor kill. Yes, exactly. Very nice. You a thousand got the points. thousand monies. Dude, you, you killed him and then stole his shit and he had a thousand on him. No, oh. he's not dead. He's gone. He ran like a bitch. Why'd you have to say that, Sam? Jeez. Couldn't it's just not my couldn't fault. You just let it sit, could you? You know what? If you'd have taken your freaking you know, this, shovel is this and a... chopped his fucking head off, we wouldn't be in this situation. Is this like it's tip to like golden axe? No, no one's gonna come out with bags. No, Dude. just watch. He's, he, you know, you sort of like go into a dream sequence. <gasps> shield maiden! It's the shield knight! Is she hot? Just watch. Catch her! Huh. <sighs> Got it! Yeah! Score! That's never cool actually seen. Game? Never actually seen. Uh. Wakey, wakey, Can't hands and bakey. Bing! Okay, cool. Boing. Wakey, wakey, hands off, stakey. No, and now you see where bakey. it's a lot like. Mm. Super Mario 3. Whoa! Look at, this. Look at this. A lovely, Go lovely to the myriad beach. of different game types. Yep. Halt! No weapons. We have enough to worry about lately without everyone swinging swords around. Oh, haha, <laughs> that's no weapon, just a shovel. You may enter then. And don't forget, press W to talk to everyone. And we all know how much gamers love talking to everyone. Don't we, people? Or do we? Oh, God, is that a horse, man? What the fuck's <laughs> going on over there? Yes, there's... Well, it's a fantasy realm. Oh, Deal that's a it. deer woman. Yes. They deserve to be... Hail, Traveler! Flash. I am Buddy Simple Bard, but I have a big problem. I've lost all my music sheets. My entire repertoire lay scattered across the land. Oh, that's what that music sheet is. Yes. <laughs> and if you ever find a music sheet and return it to me, and I shall reward you handsomely. Excellent. 
Sweet, two minutes. Uh, 500 gold for each. Yeah. Nice, man. So basically, you get money for finding the hidden stuff. What you do with this money is you purchase life power ups and magic power ups. What the fuck is that? The fuck That's what? a goat, man. That's a goat, dude. Should I extend my magic or health? A or just eat a tin can? A goatition? Everyone's just cool with this. <laughs> okay. No, alright. Oh. I am buying. Yes. I wouldn't buy anything from I'm that. I'm buying thing. a meal ticket. Now, dude's oh, happy God. for some reason. A meal ticket! Hand it to me! I'll get to work on my best recipe! I'll dazzle your palate in no time or less, so bon appetit! And pardon the mess. Can you stop rhyming, sir? I find it very discomforting. But, dude, he's, he's a chef. What, Just chefs because have he's a chef doesn't mean he has to, chefs like, have to, like take courses score. on, like, how to rhyme and stuff. <laughs> Yay! Life extension! Jeez Louise, here we go. What about the magic? What about the magic? One more, one more use out of your relics? Oh, yes, of course. Uh, I can increase your maximum magic. Good. Oh, but no relics yet. What? Can't. You have to find some relics. Chester, down the ladder. He always has the weirdest things. Wait, what was I doing? Hmm. Hence those so addle green wizards. you want me to go see some guy in a basement? Yep, that's pretty much... This is what, yeah, this is what he's doing. What the hell is going on? That's a frog man? What is that guy over there on the right? What is he doing? Uh, he, jazz hands? Hey, is he jazz got, hands? You wouldn't believe the merchandise I've got for you today. Dude, fucking get out of there, man. <laughs> I'm taking the chaos sphere. <laughs> get out of there, man! This place feels a little Dude, rapey. He's a, he's a traveling merchant. All right, yeah, okay. and he looks like he's gonna friggin' roofie you. <laughs> More like a traveling salesman. All right, so let's bring it back here. Okay, well we'll bring it back, and basically let's let's put it this way: there's so many tips of the hat to the old there's old school person right there. Okay, okay, so so it's got its own little twist on it. But the bottom line is is that Shovel Knight is a very. Thought you're gonna talk to that lady since you got the thing. What the hell is that? That's a girl with a stick. No, the Playing other the fucking, thing. It's a hedgehog. A ring. What the fuck's your problem? Have no, you seen a girl the with a stick before? It's a weird hedge farmer. pancake green monster thing. Pancake? Here, I'll make him happy. What kind of pancakes are you eating, man? Okay, can we get back to this? Yeah, we can. All right, thank you. So, basically... That lady has some water. That's a big move. <laughs> so, basically, she... Shovel Knight is a... Uh, it's just a throwback. It, it gives me such nostalgic value that, I mean... There is no way that it cannot the exceed lady. the four ninety nine price tag. Actually, I would have paid twice, no, three times that amount for Shovel Knight. Oh, yes. Whoa, now. Yes. Hold up, Sailor Jim. The controls are tight. The sprite, the sprite art is amazing, and uh, the parallax, like the environments, are very deep Talk and to detailed. That guy. You get a music sheet. Actually, speaking of references, speaking can of you go you? all the way to the right again when you get a chance? Sure, absolutely. What? Why? What are you thinking? I think I saw something. You think you saw something? I think I, I know I saw something. What did you I'm see? I'm pretty sure I saw Tim. You saw Tim? Yeah, I saw Tim. Who's Tim? You'll see. Explain. <laughs> You'll see Tim. I'm... You'll know Tim when you see Tim. Hi, lady. Hi, lady. Ah! Some call me Tim. <laughs> <laughs> now answer me these questions three. Wrong guy. Lots and lots of lots and lots of Same tributes dude. to other games. There, I'm sure that there's many, many more references. And basically, the, like I said, the gameplay's tight. The the amount of content is there. So basically, there it's a good long playthrough. It's not really like it's not what I call you know like a 12-hour long game. Maybe an epic conquest. It's not an epic conquest, but that's the entire point. Is that it's simple. The story's simple. The characters are simple. Hell, the main character is simple. You don't get simpler than a shovel for a weapon. As really. long as it's got a storyline that doesn't take only an hour to finish it doesn't actually like so modern games so uh, put this against like the classic platformers and and ones that it's that it's taking pieces of like Mega Man and and, and, and that's the great thing is that it takes pieces of Castlevania pieces of Mega Man pieces of Super Mario and takes them all together and in perfect in almost perfect harmony combines them it's a very spot on game I am thrilled with it. I think they've got some issues with small game. Alright, so... A few air pollution issues, so, yes. So, a glowing recommendation from Dustin. Sam? Um... Normally, older games are my cup of tea, but I could see myself having fun with this. Okay. Yeah, so, yeah. I'm, I'm I would totally definitely... Yeah, I'd definitely play it myself. 
definitely play it myself, and I'd recommend it to others, furthermore. So, glowing recommendation from all three. We say thumbs up. Absolutely. Thumbs well, up. shall I we close it? an index finger up. <laughs> I'd say, look. I don't have enough thumbs for this game, man. I'd say, yeah, let's, let's close it up here. All right. So, from all of us here at Bit Nation, my name's Eric. Sam. I'm Dustin. Thanks for watching this Critical Hits. Peace out, y'all.